hi everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make a lapel pin using light poly fabric or turkey fabric this is it you can as well use the scuba fabric the scuba fabric is thicker than this so if you want it thick you can use the scuba fabric but i'll be using this light poly fabric you'll also be needing your picking chair scissors you can as well use the regular scissors you get to buy in the market you'll be needing your pen also be needing your gum your b7000 or your old gum a round shape object and uh, to start with i'm going to take my pen and a round shape object And this is it i'll place the round shape object on the fabric this way and then i'll roll a circle on it when i'm done rolling i'll use the picking chair scissors to cut out the area i rule that and this is it after cutting the next thing i'll do is that i'll repeat the same procedure to get this and i'll be needing five of this can you see i'll be needing five of this so the next thing i'll do now is that i'll take my needle and my thread i'll also be needing my needle and my thread for this tutorial and i'll also be needing a, a wording before i'll start tacking i'll take my wording and a smaller round shape object i'll rule on the wording with the round shape objects and then i'll cut it out using this this scissors and this is it after cutting and uh, i'll take my needle and my thread at this stage now i'll take one of the fabric i'll fold into two equal half this way and then i'll fold again this is it so the next thing i'll do is that i'll use my needle and my thread to tack it down this way and then i'll bring it to the wording but I will have to locate the midpoint first because I'll start tacking from the midpoint and this is it. So I'll take it to the midpoint this way and then I'll take it down to the wording. And this is it. The next thing I'll do is that I'll take another fabric, I'll repeat the same procedure and then I'll take it to the wording and tack it down. But this time around, we have to follow the same direction so if you are taking if yours is anti-clockwise you have to continue with anti-clockwise direction so if it is clockwise direction you have to continue in the same direction can you see this so this is it now i will have to turn this this way can you see so this is it the next thing i will do now is that i'll bring my needle upwards and tack this and allow it to get to my fabric at this end here and i'll bring it upward so this is the chapter tacking i'll then take it downward this way so this is it now i'll take another fabric repeat the same procedure and uh, this time around i'll place it here and when i'm done placing this one i'll come back and take another fabric and place it this way and this is it after tacking the four the next thing i'll do is that i will take this one and uh, this is the last one i'll tack it down to the middle this way and after tacking this is it now I'll also bring my needle forward to secure it very well and then lastly I'll take it backward and I'll tie the thread and cut out the excess thread at the back. Now I'll cut out the excess thread I have here now. After cutting I'll turn to the front and arrange it properly. So this is it. Can you see? Can you see how it looks? 
and this is it after arranging the next thing i'll do is that i'll take my gum and my lapel pin i will apply my gum to the front of my lapel pin this way and then i'll allow it to dry for some minutes and i'll take it to the back of my work this way and then i'll press it down to dry properly and this is the finished look of the lapel pin so to cover this back you cut a smaller um, fabric using a small round shape object and then you apply your gum this is my gum i've applied my gum to the back and then i'll use it to cover it up this way so i'll leave this to dry for some minutes and this will be the finished look at the front then you can as well make this using the same procedure this is the one i made using my scuba fabric this is it and this is for the light poly fabric and that will be all for this tutorial